Hi, I'm Joseph Wong. This is part 6 of a weekly video series offering tips on how to prepare your child for a post-pandemic world. These tips are helpful no matter how old your child is. Children learn best under two conditions. First, when the lesson is fun. Better still, if the lesson is not a lesson. And second, when they like the teacher. Surely your child loves you. So I think you will agree that as a parent, you are your child's most effective teacher. On this note, there are two more conditions you need to have for your child to want to learn from you. The first is that children learn more from what parents do, your behaviours, your perspectives, than from what you tell them. For instance, if you smoke, your child will not listen to you telling them the harmful effects of smoking. The second is that you need to be your child's champion your child's hero. How to be a hero? Well, be a good role model and be genuinely involved with your child's development. I know time is our biggest challenge. That's why I wrote these three books to share easy to adopt tips that you can start to build this habit of engagement with your child. I'd like to show you this booklet, Life Guide, which has 15 more useful tips to help you engage with your child. And it comes free when you purchase all three books of I'm So Ready For Life. This booklet is so handy. You can read it when you're traveling to and from work. Let me pick up two tips from here. Let's see. Page 13. One good way to learn is to ask why up to five times until you get to something you can understand or accept. You can prompt your child to ask why by yourself asking do you want to know why? So let's use this example. Tell your child to eat more vegetables. Now get your child to ask why. You reduce the risk of disease and some even cancer. Ask him to ask why again. Vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals and so on. You get a picture. Let's look at one more example. Page 20. Ask a child why she mustn't make a decision when she's angry. This booklet tells you that making a decision when you're angry is likely to be illogical because that decision is driven by emotion, not by logic. But the important thing is that habitual engagement allows your child to understand why it's not good to make decisions when they're angry. So, 50 more handy tips in this booklet which comes free when you purchase all three books of I'm So Ready For Life. Come back again in part 7 to learn more easy tips to start engaging your child. I'm Joseph Wong.